All right, all right, all right. Hello, hello, hello. This is episode three of my podcast, Sith Retro Gamer, coming at you here. So we're going to continue going through the PS3 uh, games that are really good with an arcade stick. And uh, once we get through that, as i have uh, excited to do, I'm going to move on to other systems. Let's get through some games, right? Let's get this done. Uh, we got a few more to go. So we're going to start with Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. This comes from store.playstation.com. Here's your description. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection contains over 40 classic games from Sega's 16-bit Genesis, 8-bit Master System, and 1980s arcade-era games library. This is the first compilation to include the complete series of Streets of Rage, Fantasy Star, Golden Axe, and Shining Force, as well as other classic titles. Hey man, playing Streets of Rage with an arcade stick, you ain't living until you've done that, so highly recommend that. You know, search a lot of different places. You can get a good deal on uh, that game, I'm sure. You know, I did too. So I did it on, uh, where did I get mine from? Facebook Marketplace, I think I uh, bought it from. So it's a pretty decent deal on that. All right, we're going to move on to our next game. It is EA Sports 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil. Here's the description coming from Amazon.ca, actually. Experience all the fun, excitement, and drama of football's greatest event. Multiple improvements and innovations to the award-winning gameplay of FIFA 14, plus 100 new animations. Bring to life the world's greatest tournament by choosing from 203 national teams in the deepest set of modes ever in a tournament title. And it says here to immerse yourself in the FIFA World Cup as you play in authentic Brazilian, Brazilian stadiums and recognize the support of newly rendered crowds created to replicate the passion and pageantry of the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil. Hey, that's an awesome game. Got that from Thrift Store here. A uh, very decent price, as uh, most of you people know who collect uh, games like this. Um, the sports games always seem to be the cheapest. Uh, dirt cheap, in fact. So you want to get some games that are going to accommodate an arcade stick that are sports oriented. Uh, the soccer games still do that. They still accommodate uh, one analog uh, stick. So they're great for that. I mean, I, you can't do that with any uh, hockey games on the PS3 or even the PS2, right? You need the right analog stick to uh, you for the, um, to control the hockey stick. So there you go. Let's go to trailblazers. So this one's from store.playstation.com website, and the Trailblazers description is right here. Welcome to the Trailblaze Tournament. Get ready for high-speed thrills with an explosion of color in Trailblazers, the first ever second-to-second -second cooperative arcade racer. Paint the track as you go to dynamical change the racing line. Boost on your team's color and outwit the opposition in a sprint for the finish. The more you paint, the faster you can go. It's an innovative cooperative racer with groundbreaking on-track gameplay. Great game. Highly suggest it. Works great on the PS3. Kind of like F-Zero. All right, now this took a long time to find a description, but I finally found it. This game's called I Kill Zombies. The description comes from Metacritic.com. Inside one of the USA's top prisons, a game show takes place weekly, which pits prisoners against traps, beasts, and hordes upon hordes of the undead. Playing as one of three characters and one unlockable dude, it's the player's goal to make it through all 20 arenas. Clocking up. And we're going to expand that and see the rest of this description here. Clocking up mega bucks to be the first contestant to ever survive on the sensational show that is I Kill Zombies. Okay, fun game, great hack and slash, love it. Now let's move on to NFL Blitz, also arcade stick compatible. I wouldn't be telling you if it wasn't. Featuring the Twitch gameplay and ultra-responsive controls of the original game, combined with all new single-player and cooperative game modes, NFL Blitz hits the virtual gridiron in HD for the first time with blazing 60 FPS slash 60 HZ gameplay. 
Battle your rivals seven on seven. Fight your way. Through a season of the Blitz Gauntlet, take over the online leaderboards in Blitz Battles or create a true dream team by collecting player cards in Elite League. Challenging to master yet easy to pick up and play, NFL Blitz is reborn as the ultimate HD arcade football experience for a new generation. We all know what NFL Blitz is, right? It's a lot of fun, great game, but you take it as it is, right? It's, uh, it's not Madden, but... It's an arcade game. It's supposed to be fast, furious, fun, lots of points. What else can I say, right? Love it. NFL Blitz. We're going to move on to another one here. Side-scrolling horizontal shooter called Prehistoric Isle. Our summary comes from store.playstation.com, of course. A uh, great place to find my summaries, obviously. I, I I'm going to start with my description here. Pilot a 1930s airplane and fight against legions of dinosaurs and cavemen over a tropical island filled with mystery and danger. While collecting speed-up and power-up items, beware of the numerous traps that await you in this horizontal side-scrolling shooter released by SNK in 1989. I was 13 in 1989. Huh, pretty young back then, but... Man, that was a good game, the Prehistoric Isle, I gotta say. It says it's two-player gameplay. I have not played two players, but you can do that. Team up with someone if you have a second arcade stick. Man, that's fun. Fun stuff. All right, let's go on to the next game. Superstars V8 Racing from wikipedia.org. Superstars V8 Racing is a car racing video game based on the 2008 season of the Italy-based Superstars series and available for the arcade on April 17, 2009 and ported to the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Windows on the 26th of June, 2009. It is the first car racing game from developer Milestone since 06's Evolution GT. A sequel to Superstars V8 Next Challenge was released in 2010. Okay, I say this all the time, guys. Obviously, if it's a driving game, it's usually going to be a compatible with an arcade stick. So, fun game. Let's move on to our last one of the show today. It's called 1942 Joint Strike. You could throw... 19 anything in front of me, and I'm going to play it as long as it's a vertical shooter. I love all of those games. To see one on the PS3, uh, of course, made me very, very happy, very excited. So I played it, and uh, uh, it's one I like to go back and play all the time. Let's give you a description as if you don't already know what this game's about. In a parallel world reminiscent of our own World War II era, pilots take to the skies with stylized aircraft carriers and devastating weaponry. Inspired by the wildly popular 80s arcade series, all-new 1942 Joint Strike combines classic top-down vertical shooter gameplay with updated 3D HD graphics and online play. Skillfully maneuver your aircraft to take on massive waves of incoming enemy fire while ducking and dodging explosions and missiles. Face off with huge enemy bosses in death-defying dogfights. Recruit a wingman locally or online to work together and pull off new joint strike attacks, combining the powers of both aircraft in one explosive barrage. Or barrage. Not sure. I think it's barrage, but... I'll, I'll say both just in case. With new weapons and power-ups in your arsenal, prepare to rejoin the battle. Okay, I've not played this with two players, but I want to try this thing uh, where you can combine your powers or whatever uh, to, what did it say? To combine the powers of both aircraft in one explosive barrage. Okay, yeah, I, I want to I see an explosive barrage, okay? I bet you you do too. So, play with two players. Vertical shooter. Vertical shooters are the best. That's my favorite favorite genre. It didn't used to be, but as of recently, it's become like one of the most uh, favorite genres I've ever played. So, to see this game on there, like I said before, man, lots of fun, lots of fun, lots of fun. So, we have now covered quite a few PS3 games that are arcade stick compatible. Now, as I go through my list, I've uh, got, let's see how many more I have to show you or to talk to you about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 23. I got about, I got about 
25 more to talk about. So there are quite a few. I mean, it's surprising that uh, I found so many games. And there's more out there that I don't know about either, right? So it's been great talking to you today. I'm going to end the show right now. All right? Get out there. Play some video games. Get on that PS3. Try that arcade stick. Guarantee you're going to enjoy yourself. You're going to be back at the arcade, back in the 80s, back in the early 90s, when arcading was where it was at for me. All right, I'll talk to you later. I'm out. I'm out.